close the door to cancer. HPV vaccine is cancer prevention. Vaccinate your kids at 11 or 12. To tell a patient that they have cancer, particularly a cancer that could have been entirely prevented, is uh, terribly depressing. Um, I've shared tears, um, we've cried, um, and it's something that, that's, um, that's not easy to do. This March, we had a 23-year-old who um, had an abnormal pap smear that suggested cancer. Well, unfortunately, when she came in and we tried to find her cervix, we couldn't. Um, everything on the inside was cancer. By October, she was dead, and she left a five-year-old child alone to be raised. So it's devastating um, not only for the risk of potential death, but the morbidity associated with biopsies, with surgical procedures, and uh, the, the real um, threat of potential inability to have children thereafter. Having more children was definitely in our plan. Um, we had, my husband and I had always talked about three being a nice number. I am one of three, and I thought it was a lovely way to grow up. And my son was just a year old when I was diagnosed with cancer and learned that I would have to have a radical hysterectomy. Um, so that was really, really difficult for us. I, I feel very, very fortunate for the family that we have, but it took us a, a long time to accept the fact that we would not have the family we envisioned. What I would tell moms who are facing the decision to give their children the HPV vaccination is please do not hesitate. It offers such great protection and if you can spare your children the pain and um, the, um, the pain and just the constant worry that comes with a cancer diagnosis, I would say absolutely do it. Um, HPV is so pervasive that it can really affect anyone at any time. This is something that my husband and I think about all the time. Every time I go to the doctor, every time I have another scan or another test, it's in the back of my mind when or if this will ever come back. I see this HPV vaccine as cancer prevention, and I will do everything I can to prevent my kids from having to go through what I went through. They have their whole lives ahead of them, and I can't protect them from everything, but I will protect them from HPV-related cancer. I always tell my parents I give the vaccine to both of my daughters. One is 14 now, one is 21, and I really do not want them to come to me 20 years from now and say, Mom, I have cervical cancer, and you did nothing to protect me. Studies have found that the provider recommendation is usually the strongest motivator to getting a parent to get their child vaccinated. And it's so easy to just say with conviction and say to them, this is a safe vaccine, this is an effective vaccine, I give it to my kids. I feel that it's important for you to protect your children at this young age with this vaccine. There's no reason for us to wait and miss an opportunity to vaccinate. As a pediatrician, I want to go to bed at night comfortable knowing that I'm helping to prevent cervical cancer or anal cancer later on in the lives of my patients. I don't want to see them ending up in an oncologist's office 20 years from now when I could have done something to prevent it. This is something that we can prevent. This is a vaccine that is safe, is effective, and it can prevent cancer. We need to use it. So now we have a vaccine that can prevent cancer and why it's not given um, to so many young individuals to prevent these horrible things from happening, I have no idea. So it's very important that we follow the recommendations and vaccinate people early. And not only vaccinate them early, but it's critically important that they return for the second dose and also the third dose. Please. Don't hesitate. Get them to roll up the sleeves and vaccinate. The only question in this whole issue, if a patient comes in and has questions about the vaccine, the only question is which arm do you want it in?